Christopher Autry had been stuck in bed for weeks. The little boy had come down with the measles, and he constantly felt ill. The only thing that could make him happy was to hear the stories that his father had written about the talking trains. He liked all of them, Henry, Edward, and Gordon, but his favorite was Thomas. Christopher had grown such a liking to the little blue engine that Wilbert carved a model for him out of an old broomstick. Now Thomas could stand proudly on the bedstand and keep Christopher company. One night, Good after night, his Christopher. parents tucked him Sleep in, well, Christopher looked at Thomas. I hope I can meet you someday, he said quietly. He looked at his toy for a few more minutes before dozing peacefully to sleep. Many days and nights passed, but Christopher remained sick. But one evening, that all changed. Once upon a time, there was a little engine called Edward. He lived in a shed with five other engines. They were all bigger than Edward and boasted about it. The driver won't choose you again, they said. He wants big, strong engines like us. Shut up, Henry. Edward had not been out for a long time, but began to feel sad. Don't worry, you'll be let out soon. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. My daddy created you and this story. I know what happens. Just then, the driver and fireman came along to start work. I can't do it! I can't do it! I will do it! I will do it! I will do it! I will do it! I can't do it! I will do it! I will do it! I can't do it! I will do it! I can't do it! I will do it! I can't do it! Once, an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. It went into a tunnel, sweet through its funnel, and wouldn't come out again. That engine was me, Thomas. I went into the tower because I didn't want to get wet. You are silly, Henry. I know. I just wish I was feeling better, so I could walk trains again. One night, Thomas and Henry were alone. Henry was ill. The men worked hard, but he didn't get better. Now, Henry usually pulled the first train in the morning, and Thomas had to get his coaches ready. If Henry is ill, he thought, perhaps I should pull his train. Thomas ran along to find the coaches. Daddy! Daddy! Christopher jumped out of bed and ran downstairs. Christopher, what are you doing out of bed? Mummy! Daddy! I saw Thomas last night. He made me feel so much better. How is this possible? Oh, and Gordon and Henry. I saw Edward too. He's really nice. Maybe it's time to get those books published, dear. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Wilbert took the stories off the table and ran out the door with newfound hope and inspiration.